So now I've been doing a whole series of other jobs. Um, collecting kindling, bringing in firewood while the yo that I treated her spray was drying on her hoof. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. They don't want to come. <laughs> oh, you think there's food in there, huh? Come on, girls. Come on. <laughs> they don't want to come out. They know the weather. It looks like a beautiful sunny day. But animals know, they know that stormy weather is coming. So they don't want to come out of the shed. People think that they look like they're very crowded in here, but they're not really. They're all standing up and they're in one area. There's a lot more of the shed, but anyway. Okay, ladies, it is time to go. They don't want to leave, it's too funny. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. We got a cape, look at that, a lovely cape. Come on girls, whoop, whoop. Come on, come on, whoo. We've got uh, two months till lambing. Some are already big. There we go. This back row, yeah, is the one that I treated walking delicately. Okay. See a little bit saying, oh, this is lovely. Yep. You gotta take the gate opener, holder opener out of the way. Okay, yes. all spreading out thinking they're having lovely grass. Hopefully, when I get to the little gate over here, they will, uh, and I call them, they'll come. You can see the fields below are beginning to flood. There's so much rain. The storm that's coming tonight might make everything flood. Come on, girls. Out of girls, come on. Lots of lovely grass down here. <laughs> The ones that are getting the grass are stopping the rest coming. So much lovely grass. Atta girls, come on! My plantations are kind of protected. That's the electric fence on that one. Come on, girls! Okay, this gate. You have to put your full weight on the gate. Come on! Woo! Hey, you two, you're going the other direction. You're going up the drive that way. Come on, girls! I gotta count to make sure I have them all out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, and then the last three are waiting at the top. Here comes a little bit. Come on, girls! Woo! Out of girls! Good girls. Hup, hup. Come on. Woo. And they're off. Little bit at the arse end. She's very pregnant. 
And you can see the ones in the lead know where they're going. These stragglers, come on! Hoo! There's feed in the troughs to attract them and make them want to go that way. There they go. Good girl, Inca. Clever pup. Clever girl. Yeah. You know when to stop. Good girl. Clever pup. Beautiful sunny day. It's deceptive. It's going to be stormy and windy tonight. I think. And the temperature's dropping. So it's better to get the yo's out now and let them acclimatize to the temperature drop outside rather than put them in or put them out when it's freezy. It's much healthier for them to be out as well. Less likely to get pneumonia with the fluctuating temperature with fresh air. And now the next job will be moving the hoggett lambs back down to the shed area. Wait a sec, pups. And these ladies have a fresh bale of hay. There, there's my mobile hay feeder, but there's another fresh bale of hay underneath the great oak. So, job done. And you can hear the water. The water is seriously flowing. I think you're done, aren't you? Come on. Come on, girls. Whoop, whoop. Out you go. Come on, little bit. I know there's a last little bit, but little bit, got to move. Come on, girls. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Little bit. No, you don't get to go that way. Come on. Go on. Out of girl. Good girls. Come on, move. Out of girls. Look at them drinking from the stream. It really is flowing very heavily. I am so glad I made this a number of years ago. So glad. That way, the area for eating is a lot drier. Isn't that right? And less likely for um, to have foot issues. But again, a lot of foot issues are to do with genetics. As you can see, she needs to, you can see the difference between the two. The one that needs to have her tail trimmed versus, woo, look at that, and woo, they're all jumping. These ladies are just enjoying the sun. But a lot of uh, genetics has a lot to do with uh, a sheep having a prevalence towards scald or not. Because when I first got them as a rare breed, scald was a huge issue, huge. But I've slowly been breeding it out of the flock, which is so important. Isn't that right, little bit? Though some sheep still get it. But if I look back in their pedigree, I can see uh, which sheep they came from originally, which had the skull this year. Anyway, isn't this just beautiful? The sun before the storm.